In the modern world where scientific rigor and clinical evidence are prerequisites for credibility in healthcare, natural medicine is undergoing a powerful transformation. Once relegated to traditional or alternative status, many plant-based remedies are now gaining serious attention from researchers and clinicians alike, not because they're natural, but because they work. The focus is not simply on tradition or anecdotal results, but on biochemistry. How do these substances interact with our cells, our immune systems, our hormones, and our microbiota? Let's begin with berberine, one of the most extensively studied natural compounds in metabolic health. Found in plants such as Berberis aristata and Coptis chinensis, berberine is known to activate an enzyme called AMP-activated protein kinase, or AMPK. This enzyme acts like a metabolic master switch. When AMPK is activated, cells increase glucose uptake, improve insulin sensitivity, and enhance fat oxidation. The clinical outcomes are impressive. Berberine has been shown to lower fasting blood sugar, reduce HbA1c, and improve cholesterol and triglyceride levels. It's even been compared to metformin, a first-line medication for type 2 diabetes, and in some studies it performs similarly without the same risk of gastrointestinal side effects. This kind of metabolic support positions berberine as a serious candidate for integrative diabetes care, especially in patients looking to reduce their pharmaceutical load. Next we turn to black seed oil, derived from nigella sativa. The main active compound here is thimoquinone, which has demonstrated antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, and immunomodulatory effects. Mechanistically, thimoquinone works by inhibiting NFKB, a protein complex that regulates the transcription of inflammatory cytokines like TNFA and IL-6. This inhibition can reduce systemic inflammation, making black seed oil relevant in conditions like asthma, arthritis, and even metabolic syndrome. What's more, animal and early human trials suggest black seed oil may have hypoglycemic and antihypertensive properties, reducing both blood sugar and blood pressure over time. However, as with many natural agents, dosage and formulation matter. Cold-pressed oil retains more of the active compounds and therapeutic efficacy requires consistent use under clinical guidance. Moving on to the cognitive and vascular domains, blueberries are among the most promising neuroprotective foods studied to date. Rich in anthocyanins, flavonoids, and other polyphenols, blueberries combat oxidative stress and improve endothelial function. Several randomized controlled trials have shown that blueberry supplementation, either through whole fruit, extract, or juice, can improve cognitive performance, particularly in older adults. These effects are most pronounced in working memory, executive function, and processing speed. The mechanisms appear to involve improved cerebral blood flow, enhanced neuronal signaling, and reduced inflammation in brain tissue. And while the popular belief that blueberries dramatically improve night vision is overstated, their role in slowing cognitive decline is scientifically supported, making them an important part of a brain-supportive nutritional strategy. Let's pivot now to beta-glucans, complex polysaccharides found in the cell walls of oats, barley, and certain mushrooms like shiitake and maitake. Beta-glucans are well known for their immunostimulatory properties. They bind to dectin-1 receptors on macrophages and neutrophils, activating these immune cells and enhancing the body's ability to detect and eliminate pathogens. Clinical studies have shown that regular intake of beta-glucans can reduce the incidence and severity of respiratory tract infections, especially in vulnerable populations like the elderly. In addition to immune benefits, beta-glucans lower LDL cholesterol by binding to bile acids in the intestine, reducing cholesterol absorption, and stimulating the production of new bile acids from cholesterol in the liver. This dual action, immune and cardiovascular, makes beta-glucans a remarkable dietary intervention for both acute and chronic health conditions. Let's also touch on the safety and regulation aspect of these natural compounds. Unlike pharmaceuticals, many of these substances are not standardized, meaning that quality can vary dramatically between brands. Two capsules labeled as berberine could contain very different amounts of the active ingredient. This inconsistency presents a challenge not only to consumers but also to researchers trying to compare studies. Furthermore, while many of these compounds have excellent safety profiles when used correctly, others, like black cohosh, butterbur, or lobelia, carry risks that are poorly understood or insufficiently disclosed. The importance of professional guidance, transparent labeling, and third-party testing cannot be overstated in the responsible integration of natural medicine. What we see emerging from this chapter is a new paradigm, one where natural treatments are no longer considered alternative, 
but complementary tools grounded in biochemical logic and supported by empirical data. This shift doesn't mean abandoning pharmaceuticals, it means embracing a broader therapeutic toolkit where dietary components, botanical extracts, and lifestyle medicine work alongside conventional interventions. In the end, it's not nature versus science, it's science applied to nature. And as research continues to evolve, we can expect more refined applications of natural medicine, more targeted, better standardized, and ultimately more impactful in promoting whole person health. Thank you for staying with us for this in-depth journey into the biochemistry of natural health. This channel is committed to bridging tradition and modern science for a smarter, safer, and more integrative future in healthcare. If you found this content helpful, please subscribe and turn on notifications for more evidence-based videos. Together, let's shape the future of healthcare.